Welcome to Wise Guys. This video is for projection, projected motion at an angle. A soccer player kicks a stationary ball, giving it a speed of 20 meters per second at an angle of 15 degrees to the horizontal. Ignore the air resistance. What is the maximum height reached by the ball? What is the ball's range? For this question, we first make a picture to label all the information. A soccer player kicks a stationary ball means the ball initially at rest. And given it a speed of 20 meters per second at angle of 15 to the horizontal. So that's why this is a projection at angle. So we need the first row. The initial velocity given and the 15 degree given. The projection So we set the x direction, horizontal as x direction, upward as y direction. So this time we set upward is positive. So we given v initial velocity equals 20 meter per second. The angle equals 15 degree. So in when we do projection motion in angle, we need to uh, find two components. The one is on x, which is v, 0x. Another is on y direction, v, 0y. So we find v, 0x equals V0 times cosine 15 degree which equals 2. Okay, you calculate to calculate V0 is 20, so 20 multiply cosine 15 degree equals 19.3 19.3 meter per second the y component equals v0 times sine 15, which is 20 multiplied sine 15, equals 5.5 5 5.17 or 5.2 meter per second. So we know on x direction with initial velocity 19.3, y direction the initial velocity is 5.2 is upward. Because this is projection motion, the acceleration only existed on y direction. So on y direction is acceleration on y direction is 9.8 meter per second square because we set upward is positive, the gravity, the gravitational acceleration is negative. So now we first working with y direction. The question we're looking for, what is maximum height? So we're working with y direction first. On y direction, we have Initial velocity y equal 5.2 meter per second. The acceleration on y direction is 9.8 meter per second square. And also, we know the final on y equals zero. Look at this picture. When the ball reached the highest, 
trace on the Y component at this point and the ball it stops right then drop down that's why at this point on Y direction final Y equals 0 so we can find the maximum height on Y direction so we can use V final Y you call V initial Y plus two times acceleration times height. Because in this situation, the final equals zero. So we can move V zero Y squared to the left side. We have negative V zero Y squared you call 2ay times dy. So we're looking for dy. So dy equals negative v0y squared divided 2ay. And we just plug number into the formula negative. You can say 5.2 meter per second squared divided 2 times negative 9.8 meter per second squared. So we got dy equals five point two divided bracket two multiply nine point eight bracket. Oh sorry. So we need to do 5.2 square divided bracket 2 multiply 9.8 bracket equals 1.379. We round up to 1.38. 1.38 meter. This is the highest place. And after we find the maximum height, and then we can find, still using this information, find how long does it take to reach the maximum height. So which we, we can find T up. To find T up, we still can, we using this formula. So V final Y equals V initial Y plus A, times t up. And the final equals 0. So we move v0y to the left side. We have negative v0y equals ay times t up. So we have t up equals negative v0y divided ay and it equals negative 5.2 meter per second divided negative 9.8 meter per second squared. So we got T up equals to 0. Point, this one we can calculate this one. We have 5.2 divided 9.8 you call 0 0.53, 0 0.53 second because negative and negative cancel. Out. So also we can find the total time. The total time for looking for the range. Look back this picture. It takes 0 0.53 second to reach the top, then the ball will drop down. So the time from the ground to the maximum height and equals to the time from the maximum height drop to the ground. So we need to multiply two.
to get the total time, which is 1.06 seconds. Then we can calculate, then we work with the horizontal. Horizontal, I need another paper. The horizontal is, horizontal we have, on what x direction we have, v0x equals 19.3 meter per second already found at the very beginning. Then the acceleration on acceleration equals zero. So we can find the horizontal displacement, which is range, the formula we use V zero X times T but the t is total plus 1 over 2 a t squared. Because this part ax equals 0, no acceleration, because only gravity, right? So on vertical, so acceleration, no force, we ignore the air resistance, so this part equals 0. So we have only have v0x times t, so now we can find is 19.3 meter per second, which by the total time we already found is 1.06 seconds. Nineteen point three multiply one point zero six is twenty point Five. So dx equals 20.5 meter. So this is uh, presented by wise guys. Thank you.